Welcome to the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen, where we share gourmet recipes at a low budget wonder. Now check this out. Here I've got a bag of Idaho russet potatoes. I've already picked out six of my favorites and give them a good scrub with warm water. Now it's good to use the flat side of the potato for the bottom, the curved side for the top, so you can see we got the width there. And we're going to take a skewer and we're going to plunge it through about a quarter of an inch from the bottom. Just like that. Now you want to just lay the potato down on its side. And with a sharp knife you want to cut about an eighth of an inch right off the bottom. Now you can take your potato and set it down flat. You don't have to worry about it rolling back and forth or getting out of control when you're using your knife. Now when you're cutting your ridges you want to leave about an eighth inch of space between each one. And you'll cut all the way down to the skewer without cutting all the way through the potato. And you continue this pattern till you reach the end. Now with a hard pull you can remove the skewer. Now as you can see here, we've got a beautifully cut Hasselback potato. All these ridges are congruent, fairly even, and they're going to turn out beautifully once we cook them in the oven. But first we're going to add a little bit of vegetable oil. You don't want these to completely dry out while they're cooking, so you want to just rub that in to the outside of the skin. Then lay each one of them down in a baking pan and take them straight to the oven. Set them on the middle rack and bake at 425 degrees Fahrenheit for approximately 20 minutes. In the meantime you want to melt down some butter, add some garlic, fresh thyme and rosemary. I also like to add some Mexican oregano and hit it with a little bit of kosher salt and pepper. And I just keep this on low until it's nice and melted, then I kill the heat. After 20 minutes you're going to pull the potatoes out of the oven and you're going to notice that the ridges here are starting to open up. That's a good thing because we're going to take each one of our potatoes and submerge it right in that seasoned butter. Be sure to turn it upside down so each one of our slices can get coated. Now just repeat for each potato until they all look like this. Now if any of you are fans of salted baked potatoes, this is the time to hit it. Coat your salt and pepper right over the top of each one of them. Now we're going to put them back in the oven but reduce the heat to 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 45 minutes. But you want to pull them out 10 minutes before they're done. You want to base them with that butter mixture one last time. Now if you'll notice our ridges are really starting to open up. So this seasoned butter is going right down in between all of our slices. Now I like to shake seasoned breadcrumbs right over the top of each one. Now back to the oven one last time for the remaining 10 minutes. And voila! You end up with a light crispy outside and a soft tender inside. A perfect Hasselback potato in my opinion. But I base one last time upon serving and I hit it with some Romano cheese. Then garnish with green onion. But this isn't the only way to serve them. You can add some cheddar cheese and top it off with maybe say bacon bits. Or how about just straight gravy? It's up to you. But there you have it. Hasselback potatoes right here in the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen. Thank you for watching and be sure to stop by poormansgourmetkitchen.com for more recipes and exact ingredients.